You are watching the Ultimate Dodgeball Championship from Los Angeles, California, presented by SkyZone, the ultimate 3D play experience. Locate a SkyZone in your area by visiting skyzonesports.com. And checking out the lineups, Team Doom featuring Captain Vince Marchbanks. He can fire them out there. And Justin Payan, Cole Harrell, Nate Kreider, and Ismael Blanco. They'll take on Ham, led by Captain Phil Middleton, Jarrell McNeil, Josh Delio, Craig Robert Watts, and Ryan Morris make up that team. Folks, quarterfinal heat number four here at the Ultimate Tramp League in these first initial rounds. So this is anybody's game, and the crowd here, being from mostly from LA, they're fired up. Yeah, the decibels definitely went to a new level as both teams entered center court. And one man out, and that is Gerald McNeil, and he is toasted right away. charge. You're going to see Riverside with some smoking throwers. These guys can hurl the ball. March Banks and Pion especially. And Ed Craig Watts of Sacramento is out. And here comes March Banks up the front. He dodges, steps back, picks the line out. Watch him unload. Look at that heat. Oh, that was. Look at him working these traps. Uh, you know the sport better than I do, but it looks to me. Like this is the hardest throwing team so far. Yeah, I would say that's a, that's a safe statement to make, and you know it's really it's really fun to watch Phil Middleton. He's uh, the gentleman in the red hair out there for Sacramento working those tramps because Riverside was all over him and he dodged everything they had, and I'm sure that frustrated them. Now watch Pyan down here on your left. He loves to throw a no look. He could be him in at middle, and middle Middleton wouldn't even know it. Middleton has done a great job so far this entire tournament. And Josh Delio, he's out. Middleton's now. In a look at that. All right, here when we take a look at the replay, we're going to see Kreider just demolishing one of the hand players. And the next thing you know, and here it is right here, close up, bang, right in the back of the head. And that leaves Middleton and Delio left, and Pyan just drills Delio. And here comes Marchbanks, and there goes Middleton. He's heading to the back wall as Delio goes out, and then Middleton hits the wall and gets away from the first one. But you know, going up against Pyan and Marchbanks isn't where anybody really wants to be, back wall or not. Middleton comes down, and, and just going up there probably wasn't the best play. He, did, he didn't turn his back, which is smart, but it, it just didn't work out, and ends the game. 21 qualified, 21 teams from different a variety of Sky Zone indoor trampoline parks from around North America. And now we're here in the final eight, and in this case, the last quarterfinal heat. Look at Middleton up on that wall. He, he just he just loves these tramps. And one down from Riverside. Riverside up one game to zero here in this quarterfinal. The downside here is uh, Sacramento doesn't have any balls, so that's a dangerous spot to be in. Uh, Middleton's down. Whistles blown. Ed, what's your background in dodgeball? Well, I've been doing this for about 10 years, besides playing it when I was a kid in a playground, and uh, I've seen just about everything. I've played on every court you can imagine. Just got my first taste of tramps, and this is amazing. I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> Marchbanks up to the front. Marchbanks better watch that middle pad because uh, it's illegal to throw off of that. It's fair to say you set a lot of the rules too in this sport. Yeah, these rules are very similar to the ones we use in the National Dodgeball League uh, with some slight variances. Watts goes down. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one rule is you get hit, you're out. And that stays the same no matter what. And Marchbanks is definitely taking advantage yeah. of that. He's just picking them off. and. Great, it is two on two. Top of your screen, Sacramento, so. And that was a risk, that was a risky move. Delio's down. One 
man standing for Sacramento, and that's Ryan Morris. Little timeout. Well, Morris is going to have his hands full here. He doesn't have any of the balls. March Banks and Harrell. You know, and for a minute here, Sacramento really had an edge. I mean, they were just coming at the team from Riverside. They take out Ishmael, they take out Payan, and it looks like everything's going their way. Unfortunately, they left March Banks and Harrell on the court because those two guys, you'll see here, there goes Payan out, there goes Ishmael, and you see over in the upper left-hand corner, March Banks and Harrell, now they're gonna come up and do some damage. March Banks and Harrell had a lethal combination. Look at that. Accuracy, hard throws, exactly what they need to do, right? And Trace, he wasn't even looking at him. I mean, he's looking over at the other opponent, and then he just throws a no look over and takes him out. You know, and here's Delio. He didn't have a chance. It was no. so accurate. It's crazy accurate. So taking a 2-0 lead, the team from Riverside, California, Doom, taking out the favorites, Sacramento. Everyone here has been talking about them. If anyone can take out him, it is definitely the team from Riverside. And we're going to pick up the action here in game three. And uh, Team Ham right now is actually down two games to zero. So it's surprising seeing Phil Middleton there looking so comfortable because they got to be a little shaken up. And Doom's not messing around. They're pressing right away because they know if they take this one out, uh, Ham's going home. Doom from Sacramento, California, closest to you on the screen. On the far side, Team Ham from Sacramento. Yeah, and Doom's got some throwers. Let me tell you, the Riverside team, uh, March Banks, one of the strongest guys out there with this throw. Uh, and then you've got Justin Pine, who's right there with him. Uh, and and Nate Kreider, Nathan Kreider can, uh, can hurl this ball. So uh, it's a team you definitely got to look out for. So March Banks releases the ball finally. And what happened here? The refs come in. Yeah, they're going to sort this out. It looks like uh, uh, there was a warning here, possibly a delay of game. Uh, the referee's going to step back to the side. And what happens in a delay of games? Is somebody holding on to a ball too long? Yeah, what happens is the ball is all over to the other the other team. If you if you're holding on too long, that's the ultimate penalty. Now March Banks, a very tall individual, just firing in. Look at that throw! <laughs> Huge velocity. Yeah, and, and one of the things that March Banks likes to do is sit on that ball, and you know the ref really should be warning him right now, but uh, it's because everyone's afraid of his throw, so he's able to sit back there and look at him. I mean, he's just waiting, and they know it. He's waiting uh, to unload on these guys as he steps forward. That's March Banks on the top left-hand side of your screen. Yeah, and you got to watch out for him because he's just got a cannon, and Pete unleashes, and, and bang, there it goes. Uh, he just fires one to uh, Ryan Morris and takes him out over in that corner. I don't even think Morris saw that thing coming. And now it does not look very good for Team Ham, uh, uh, the team out of uh, Sacramento. Uh, he's got Middleton back there, and we've got uh, uh, Jarrell McNeil, and they're playing really pretty defensive right now. And here comes Middleton. I mean, he's a very aggressive player. I'm sure this is eating at him, but he doesn't want to take any risks. Well, Doom up right now, three men to two, and also two games to zero. So the team Ham from Sacramento, a favorite here today, circling the drain as they got to make a big move if they want to come back. Yeah, and I don't like the strategy by Sacramento. I mean, these guys are spread out. They need to get together. They need to throw together. They're throwing randomly, and I will tell you, the team from Riverside will pick them apart. And there you go, Middleton's down. And bang, look at Pyan. I mean, he's fired up. He takes out McNeil and ends the game right there. And, uh, you know, Riverside's moving on. A 3-0 sweep by the powerful team from Riverside, California. Doom will advance to the semis. Yeah, and nobody would have thought that. I mean, both these teams came in. They're both from California. They both play really well. But it was amazing how the team from Riverside played today. I mean, you can just see them here. One after one play after another. Bang, there's March Banks firing off around. You know, and, you know, they just can't get out of their own way over there. It's just too many, too many things are coming at them too quickly. And uh, Sacramento just couldn't keep up. And here, watch this. All three coming up, moving, moving. March Banks, they have a ball, and he's moving. <laughs> it's a tough draw for uh, Sacramento here in the quarterfinals. Yeah, I don't think they were they were happy to see these brackets. But look at Middleton using that tramp too. He covered two different you know he covered two different sections of that trampoline coming back. I mean he's a very athletic player. They just didn't they just needed to get it to get it together today. Check out more action on our Facebook page, facebook.com/ultimate dodgeball.